So when you're, when you're behaving godly, when you're acting godly, you're receiving God's word, you're listening to God's word, and you're trying to implement God's word. But when you refuse to hear God's law, you say, oh, I don't want to, and think about that, Christians, today, oh, that's Old Testament, I don't want to listen to God's law, I don't want anything to do with God's law, Amen. right? Oh, I don't, want, I don't want to do anything that. Well, when you turn away your ear from hearing the law, the Bible says your prayer shall be abomination. Now think about that. An abomination. Abomination is something that's like strong hatred. Okay? It, it's, it's a word that's just, if someone's abominable or something is an abomination, it's something that's just really, really hated. And when God hears somebody praying, praying, calling out to God, asking God for things, asking God for help, but they're not listening. That is something that God hates. God doesn't want to hear you, you know, crying to him when you don't want to listen to anything that he has to say. Now, don't confuse this teaching with someone who's calling on God, even though they may have made a bunch of mistakes in their life. It doesn't mean that God won't hear someone who's made mistakes, but there's a, there's a key thing there is that once a person is repentant and ready to listen to God, then God will be more apt to hear what that person wants. It's the person who just doesn't want to listen and just wants God to listen. It's like, no, 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 no. Stop talking. You know, the person that wants to talk over everyone else just so they could be heard. Right? The type of person that doesn't want to, oh, don't, don't give me the Bible. Hey, don't, don't give me biblical truths. I just want to be heard. I just want you to listen to me. Hey, I just have these problems. God, just help me out. It's like the people that, that you know, will contact the church oftentimes looking for handouts, looking for money. Just, you know, oh, we just, uh, you know, I need, I'm laid on rent, and, and I've got a family, and we need, you know, I need to buy food, and I've got young kids at home. And it's like, well, you know, why don't you come to church? You know, because there's, there's a lot greater things that you need in your life than just this money. No, 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 I just need the money. I just, just, just give me the money. No, I don't have time for that. I can't come to church. Well, the Word of God says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The things that you're asking for right now, if you seek God and His righteousness, those things will come later. They'll be added, but you don't even want to hear. You don't want to hear what the Bible is. You didn't call saying, hey, what does the Bible say that I can do to make my life a little bit better? You called just asking for money. And I'm trying to tell you, hey, there's a lot more that I can help you with, but you're refusing. You don't want to hear it. You know what? Those prayers are an abomination. All the things that they're asking for, it's hate. I hate, I hate when people just call looking for handouts and they don't want to help. Because look, we're willing to help. I'm willing to help. I'm here to try to help people. And if someone needs help, I'd love to help them. The problem is with a lot of people just looking for money, money's not going to help them. Money's only going to perpetuate their situation. Money's just going to let them continue going down the same sinful, wicked path that's going to just ultimately bring death. That doesn't help a person. You've got to look past the short term and think about the long term. And when you don't want to hear God's word, and you don't want to hear from God, then you start going to him asking for stuff, your prayer becomes an abomination. God hates that. 